Whitney Houston has been on the media spotlight since she became a teenage star. But that spotlight has turned harsh in recent weeks, with several highly publicized no-shows adding to months of speculation about strange behavior. Despite repeated denials from family members, rumors of a possible drug problem have been all over the papers. Who's really out of control here, Whitney Houston or the media? Here's what it can't be. Whitney Houston has been a hit maker and a money machine for her record company. She's won so many music awards, her home looks like a museum. She's one of the hugest stars there is. Bob Meadows is a correspondent for People magazine who has covered the singer's career. The first album was huge, the second album was huge, all of her albums were huge. But along with the money and fame has come some incredibly bad press. Since her 1992 wedding to singer Bobby Brown, there have been published reports of trouble in their marriage. In January, she was stopped by Hawaii Airport Security, who said she was carrying marijuana. No charges were filed, and her publicist disputes those claims. In March, she missed a high-profile Rock and Roll Hall of Fame performance. And two weeks ago, she missed the Academy Awards ceremony amid rumors she had botched her rehearsal and couldn't be counted on to perform live. Her people said it was a sore throat. And this week, another round of unflattering stories describing erratic behavior by the star brought on, the magazine speculate, by unsubstantiated rumors of drug abuse. Houston recently posed for a cover story for Jane Magazine. Its employees say her behavior that day made them suspicious. The editor-in-chief, Jane Pratt, said she heard about it from her staffers. She showed up four hours late, said she had been at the dentist for a cracked tooth. It seemed a little out of it. If you're a Whitney Houston fan, you're probably wondering, just what's going on here? Can all of this be true? And what are you to make of it when reporters offer contradictory accounts? Which is just what happened when the singer performed at a record company gala on Monday night. USA Today said the diva turned in a sizzling set. But the New York Post headlined its review, Singer's Behavior Increasingly Erratic, noting she stopped during one number to ask for water and lapsed into talking during another. But then again, the New York Daily News said, Whitney wows her fans. In fact, Deborah Cox, a friend of Whitney Houston, says the singer is in fine shape. Coverage has been unfair. Everybody is speculating and nobody has any idea as to what the story is. But all of this has reignited an old debate about the press and its coverage of celebrities. What's public? What's private? And should they be treated any differently than politicians? Pratt says they should. When someone is, uh, you know, happens to have the talent of being a great singer or uh, being a great actor or being a great writer or whatever it is, I don't think that entitles us to know everything about what goes on in their bedroom. And I think that that has really gone way too far. But to reporters like Bob Meadows of People Magazine, the publicity, good or bad, is part of the price of fame. They made their lives public. This is the life that they sought. And this is, this is what happens. 